much. My name is David, and I admit I'm a Scrabbleholic. <laughs> Any others out here? Uh, uh, and I also admit that I make mistakes. I miss things. I forget these new words. Uh, and these new words is kind of like to me, like learning a new language. Uh, Learning a new language it was a lot easier when I was five than when I was 65. <laughs> oh. But, as I tell my students, smart people don't, or smart people aren't folks that don't make mistakes. Intelligent people learn from their mistakes. So we can all do that, right? <laughs> Some folks, I know we need to get on our way, but first of all, I want to thank, of course, Chris Cree, a personal friend of mine, Chris, and I go back a long ways, and all the national organization for doing a super job, amen. <laughs> Next, I want to thank Trey Wright. A lot of you know Trey Wright, a former champion, uh, accomplished <coughs> musician, accomplished travel player, accomplished I want to thank Trey for not coming. You see, <laughs> uh, Joey Malik knows the statistics. I believe I've played Trey a total of seven times, and I have an interesting record against Trey of 7-0, and oh, as in seven losses <laughs> and no wins. <laughs> he owns me. Right? Oh, I want to thank my new friend that I, I met up here. I uh, stayed out in Motel 6 edge of town and met a fellow from Pakistan named uh, Farik, and I want to thank him. We rode in together every day and, and, and uh, ate meals together. Thank you. It's good to meet friends. That's what our community is all about. And, uh, yeah. Uh, next of all, I had to put this, but when people ask me where I was born, I tell them I was born in two places. I was born in Rex Hospital in Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> and I was born on third base. I had the privilege of being the firstborn child of the most wonderful parents you could ever, ever have. John and Lori Gibson weren't rich in money, but they were rich in every other way. And it's just wonderful. They were word people. Uh, as you might guess, Scrabble was our main family game. I know the same is true for, for many of you. Um, I want to thank my wife, Nancy. Um, um, I waited until I was 36 to get married, but when Nancy came along, and believe it or not, she had never played a game of Scrabble in her life. That was brave of me, wasn't it? <laughs> But about two weeks after we were married, I coached her into playing, and the first game we played, she played the word Junto, J-U-N-T-O. I knew I had a winner. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you for Nancy. Her whole day, she was chanting 24-7, 24-7, 24-7, that turned out to be my record. <laughs> and my wife. Um, I want to leave it all. I want to thank my caddy, uh, the entertainer, Kate Watson. And, uh, <laughs> And she's already gone, but I'll send to her 10%. <laughs> <laughs> well, last but not least, by any means, thank you to all of you in this room, my friends who come up to me or folks that I don't know and introduce yourself and tell me about your experiences. It means so much to so many of you who've been so sweet through all the years. You're the folks who make Scrabble not only a great and wonderful game, but a wonderful community. Thank you so much. Have a safe trip. Thank you.